Researchers believe that the same system that causes inflammation around a wound can, when the response becomes chronic, play an important role in a broad range of illnesses, anything from heart disease to Alzheimer's. Here's a very simplified and much magnified look at the basic mechanism. You get an injury. A splinter slices through the skin, damaging cells and allowing bacteria and other pathogens into the body. In the world in which our bodies evolved, the pain almost always signaled a microbial invasion. Mast cells release histamine and cytokines, which alert the body that something is wrong. Tiny blood vessels respond by developing leaks that allow other immune cells to rush to the field of battle. Even before reinforcements arrive, pre-station microphages start attacking bacteria and damaged cells using toxic chemicals like nitric oxide. Specialized immune cells migrate to the wound. Neutrophils engulf and destroy bacteria and damaged tissue. More microphages appear, and lymphocytes intensify the immune system's repower. As the pathogens are eliminated, a new series of molecular messengers signals a victory. A group of irregularly shaped cells called platelets, along with other substances, forms clots and closes the wound. How inflammation can go so wrong. If the inflammatory flares refuse to die down or are up for prolonged periods, permanent damage may result. A long-running low-grade infection like gum disease may keep immune cells flared up or there may be a breakdown in the complex series of checks and balances that regulates the immune system. Certain parts of the body are mistakenly selected by immune cells for attack. Microphages start chewing up cholesterol deposits in the coronary arteries, or glial cells begin destroying neurons in the brain. And finally, chronic illness. The body's efforts to heal the damage it created end up only making matters worse.